We're here today training our task force and heavy equipment and rigging specialists. The HERS course is unique because in the construction world, you have picking points on most of your equipment, like air conditioners that are going up onto a high rise. In this situation, there are no picking points. When the uh, building collapses and the rubble's there, you have to configure out how to actually lift those different pieces. Everything they're doing in training here has real world effect. You pick a piece of steel up or concrete up and you do it correctly, you have a good outcome. If it goes wrong, this is the time to have it go wrong while we're training and not in the field actually working on someone. As far as the stations go today, we have the first station is a man basket. We use that to raise the people up in order to get to a steel they couldn't reach from the ground. The second station is radio communication between the crane operator and the rigger. This would be used especially when the crane operator is not in sight of the rigger and has to pick from behind a blind spot. The next station down there is cutting of steel with torches. We have oxyacetylene torch and a petrogen torch, which is use of gasoline and oxygen. Far down where the hallmark crane is, we have a hinge load pick where we move loads that can injure a person that may be under it, so we have to stabilize that load before we pick it up. Every disaster is unique. And what we are trying to do is place realistic situations with these guys so when a disaster happens, they'll be able to handle that and be able to think on their feet about the uniqueness of what they're trying to accomplish. Having the staff of instructors we have at MATF1 really makes me proud. They do an awesome job. This is a great opportunity for these guys and it's what an experience it is.